good morning. It's Friday. Another week has whizzed by. Hope you're well. Uh, glad you're able to join us again this morning for Kings at Home Daily. And uh, hi there from me, Goff. Um, if, yes, let's pray and then we'll jump in in these few moments we've got at the beginning of the day. Lord, here we come to you again. We stand before you and we do pray that you would quieten our hearts and our minds before the barrage of the day. Speak your words of peace and truth into our hearts so that we'll have our compass, as it were, our compass set to, to walk well today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we we actually come to the end of the, the Beatitudes. We're going to keep going through the Sermon on the Mount next week. But we're um, down at verse 10. We, we, we've come through this list of poor in spirit, blessed, the blessed attitudes, poor in spirit, those who mourn, the meek, those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, the merciful, the pure in heart. And then yesterday we saw peacemakers. Hope you did well yesterday. Guarding the tongue, being quick to listen, slow to, to, to speak, and so on. Today, we've got verse 10. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. And what Jesus is doing here, he's making the point that if, if you begin to live the the blessed life, the, the, taking on the, the character of Jesus, as it were, becoming more like Jesus in the way you, you, that you live. He's saying you will be persecuted. He doesn't say blessed are you if you're persecuted. He says blessed are you who are persecuted. It, it, and of course Jesus said um, a servant isn't above his master. And uh, he was very uh, made it very plain to his disciples that um, that they should expect uh, difficulties, that challenges to uh, to, to um, evoke the, the 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 displeasure of others in the same way that he did, um, and so uh, blessed are those who are persecuted. This is something we, you know, we, we it, it's it's something we don't often speak about, preach about. And of course, it's not that we we make, we're, we're persecuted because we're objectionable or or, or, or whatever. It, 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 it's it's we're persecuted because it's we're suffering for righteousness' sake. We're following the Lord Jesus, and that will bring us into conflict with the culture around us. And um, um, Angie and I have said recently how. To, the increase in uh, it's becoming increasingly difficult challenging to be a Christian in, in 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 the culture in our country at this time even 50 years ago um, when we heard of people being persecuted in different parts of the world for being Christians we think could that ever happen here well um, it, it really is happening here isn't it to, to speak up as a Christian for what, what the Bible says in, in various areas of life, uh, perhaps especially at the moment in the area of uh, relationships and uh, saying what we believe marriage to be and so on, those, those huge issues um, that, that will bring us into direct conflict with um, the culture around us, such are the days that we are we're, we're, we're living in. Uh, a bit Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who I've mentioned before, he written that lovely book, The Cost of Discipleship. He says that, um, that, that, that persecution is the badge of true discipleship. <laughs> wow. Um, of course, he faced that, taking a stand as a Christian in Nazi Germany. It cost him his life. So it's, it's not that we go looking for it. We're, we're, we're to be peacemakers. <laughs> we're, we're, we're to be... Uh, you know, we're, we're, to, we're to live in, in, in a way that's, that should bless others, but it will bring about um, persecution, difficulty from those around us. And I wonder what that might look like for you and me. Well, um, it might mean that 
in, in, in lovingly, um, uh, having to say at times, no, I, I, I do you know, I, I don't believe that. I, I'm not sure that's true. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that response is right. It, it's, it's in those speaking out when, 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 when we need to um, about things that are happening around us, withdrawing from uh, perhaps certain conversations because it's not, they're not good and godly. Um, it will it will, it will bring us uh, it, 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 will, it, it, it can lead to persecution so persecution for us might look like being shunned um, being misunderstood being rejected um, so on and so forth it might mean more than that being taken to task having to answer your your critics having to um, speak out courageously um, I think increasingly in our day it will it, it will mean that but the, the, the strange thing is that that here we, we, we're told that we're blessed and if you look at, at Luke's account I mean this this is quite incredible um, blessed are people when, blessed are you when people when people hate you when you're uh, um, uh, when they exclude you and insult you it's, he goes on to say Re rejoice in that day and leap for joy <laughs> because great is your reward in heaven so the, that, that that seems very strange not just to accept that those rebuffs the the uh, uh, the criticism you get the persecution that you get for being a Christian Luke is saying in his account that we should jump for joy that we should be pleased and I think that links in with what Bonhoeffer says it's a badge of true discipleship that that's what they did to to the Lord Jesus and so therefore you know we, we uh, we're following in his footsteps and at this point I'll quote Bonhoeffer on this he he writes this rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven he goes on there shall the poor be seen in halls of joy. With his own hand, God wipes away the tears from the eyes of those who have mourned upon the earth. He feeds the hungry at, the bank at his banquet. There stand the scarred bodies of the martyrs, now glorified and clothed in the white robes of eternal righteousness. The echoes of this joy reach the little flock, the disciples as it stands beneath the cross and they hear Jesus saying blessed are ye and you know it's a theme we don't speak about a lot suffering and glory they go together in the Bible it was through suffering that Jesus came to glory and uh, through the suffering that, 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 that we in, go through and endure as, as disciples of Jesus it's, it's working for us Paul says an eternal weight of glory I, I don't understand this but s somehow we're following in the footsteps of of our Savior and just as Jesus uh, uh, suffered his suffering led to glory so the challenges that you and I face as, as disciples of his they are uh, they're preparing for us an eternal weight of glory so uh, I hope that kind of helps you just a little bit blessed are those who are persecuted they're blessed this is a blessed thing when you when you're persecuted because of righteousness not because you're being awkward and difficult but when you're paying the price of being a follower of Jesus there's blessing to be had and as Bonhoeffer said the the echoes of joy from from heaven uh, come down to the ears of of the little flock knowing that we've got a wonderful future, a wonderful hope awaiting us. Well, um, that's a tricky one for us to apply to in that day, we, we, going into today, but let me pray for us that this will be true of us, that we'll get, somehow begin to understand this, uh, this strange beatitude about, the, about blessing in persecution for Jesus' sake. Lord, I pray for us as we go into today. Lord, we... We don't go looking for trouble, but we, we, we want to be true to you, Lord. We do. We want to be true to you. And, and if, that will, if that costs us reputation, if that costs us rebuffs, if that costs us uh, 
the, the anger of others. Lord, we want to walk well. We want to be your disciples. We want to be ready to pay the price of being followers of yours, knowing that it's the greatest privilege on the planet to, be, to belong to you, to be your disciples, knowing that all these things are preparing for us an eternal weight of glory. So Lord, please help us to be good followers, good disciples of yours today, ready to stand up for you, speak of you, knowing that uh, this is our calling to be true to the one who has called us and uh, is with us on the journey. So go with us today, Lord, wherever we're going, I pray, and may we be glorifying to you in all we say and do, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless, have a great day, and uh, may see you on Sunday. Bye now.